Do you want to learn how you can work different zones on DoorDash within the same shift, day, moments apart, and maximize your earnings without being afraid from going zone to zone? In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do it, how you can maximize your time and money. Let's go. Pedro from the Rideshare Guy here, and I'm going to show you how to maximize your time and money while you're out dashing. So many of us, when we're out doing DoorDash, you know, are afraid or skeptical or worried, you know, can I take this delivery is taking me out of my zone? Because DoorDash will do that. You might start in zone A and it wants to take you to zone B, but it's a good offer. Well, don't be afraid because you can do that. And I want to show you how you can maximize your time at the same time. Some of the questions you might have, well, if I do that, if I go from zone to zone, will I be able to start a new zone? Do I have to end mine? Will it still send me offers? Pedro, I scheduled a dash. What do I do about that? Pedro, you know, I'm not a top dasher. I, I, can I just dash now anyway? Now, it will be market specific, but I'll show you how I do it and what works for me. And while the answer might, all, might not always be so clear, and it is market specific, like I just said, you can do it. You don't have to be a top dasher necessarily to dash now. I dash often in multiple zones. Yesterday, four different zones. I simply stop my dash when I, after I drop it off, it leaves me in another zone, and I start a new one in that zone if I know I can get a good order. Don't be afraid to zone hop. If you know your market and you know that second, that first drop off or second, third or fourth drop off is gonna leave you in a good area to get another one, maximize your time. And like any tips and tricks you're gonna get from any channel, this one included, knowing your market, knowing your merchants, knowing what time of day you wanna do it, knowing what zones are good different times is the number one key indicator. So you gotta get out there and do it for yourself. But I wanna make sure you guys know, don't be worried to go from zone to zone. You can make good money doing it. So in my almost two years of doing gig work, DoorDash specifically, full-time for the last year, I have learned I can jump from zone to zone. I'm gonna give you guys a few examples of that coming up right now so you guys can feel a little more confident when you're out there dashing and maximizing your money. Okay, first order of the day, 875, eight miles. I almost didn't take it. Uh, six items, city diner. I took it because of the time of the day. I also took it because of where it leaves me in a good spot to get another one. And you guys know me, I am not afraid of highway miles because they're more fuel efficient and quicker. They should not take that long. And it could go up from 875. Typically when you have higher mileage and this particular um, dollar amount with six items, yeah, it could definitely go up because the base pay on DoorDash is gonna be more. Let's go. Hello. Hi, how are you? Who are you here for? Maserna or something like that? And we gone. All right, we dropped that bad boy off. It stayed at 875, no hidden tip action. I was wrong. But I knew it was taking me to another zone, but I could dash now in my, I just, I can do it. I'm not a top dasher, but it's because of my market. I know. Okay, so that order technically took us out of the zone we were in, but as you see here, I'm so close to the one I wanna be in. If you're in a densely populated market, or if you're in an area where you might get good orders and you don't wanna pass them up because you're afraid of zone hopping, don't be. Don't pass up a good offer just because you might be going into another zone. That second zone you're going in could have other merchants and it could really pay off for you in, in that zone. And they actually could send you an offer from that zone going back to where you wanted. Don't sit and wait for money. Go where the money is, guys. And as you guys see here, I do multiple dashes throughout the day. That's because sometimes I do zone hop. And if you could dash now, like I keep saying, don't be afraid. You might be costing yourself some money just because you're afraid to go to another zone. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys out there that do DoorDash and might have had questions about zones and how they work, but obviously knowing market research. Put out a comment, share this video, like it. Uh, use the email address if you have any other questions. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you like tips and tricks and weekly content about the gig economy. I'll be doing videos for the Rideshare Guy every single week. Bet on you, Sickles, one day time. See you on the next video.